Hi everyone, my name is Billy Chris and in this video tutorial I will be showing you how to use Tireflow for wind simulation in 3S Max. So what we'll do, uh, we'll create like individual panels for these roads and different panels for wind flying um, next to the roads. Uh, so we'll start by drawing plane. simulation to go underneath the buildings. Six different panels. To be here again, press shift. Just so we we'll ask you for copy. Copy it. Uh, I will just draw.
here and you go to to position um, those plates so uh, it, there's a trick if you click on this where's my mouse share right now you can um, uh, you want to that one but if you can't if you don't want to go all over what need you find sometimes if you can take uh, like for this instance I want to position my plate so I can type P and then uh, like you see here it says uh, position object that's what i'm after because these ones are where the wind starts so i want to position that one so what i do i just simply come and drag it here and um, once i'm here it asks me to pick those planes so what i'll do i'll pick start picking them you can you can like click one two three four Again, okay. As you can see, also I'm, I'm picking it. Then I'm picking them. Uh, the particles is appearing all over those uh, plates. So those plates are where the actually the wind starts and flow in the onto the streets of the city and all over the city based on its uh, how the streets are cut uh, and then from here uh, we'll go to we'll start assigning uh, those wind path which is those lights so what we'll do again uh, we'll look for path fully okay let's see So now uh, from here if we it's a bit quick so by the, we can just slow that process down so what we can do from here uh, we'll, uh, we'll put a slow, uh, slow version in that type flow script which is here so you get slow button 
just chuck it in here and then um, from here we I can just increase this one I can leave it up to So is that we can we can if we see now like it's nice and slowly that's what we have done. This showing is how the wind uh, dispersed throughout the uh, sea and then from here so we want them to be much more visually so from here we'll start, uh, we can use the uh, spline part. shows us how uh, the wind actually flowed into the city. So it's like every time you, you are making some changes on this uh, like editing uh, panel, it will be the lots of wind waves and have divided those wind into part and just to have a look what's going on. And then uh, I just want to check if I'm happy with the everything which is good um, yeah. so uh, that was it so this is how you do uh, a wind simulation with that cipher and uh, so that uh, you can see what's going on so now that I'm happy I will close that and just uh, just to see how um, the wind actually reacts. So this is how you do a uh, wind simulation in uh, in any of the contexts. Uh, this one I had some crazy roads overlaying around, and that's why uh, the wind goes in nearly every part of those roads in between of the in, in of the village. But this is how you do a uh, wind simulation in Stafford. Thank you for watching, hope you like this video.